How you doing guys? Is Zed Head here? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, thanks very much for stopping by. I really appreciate that you've chosen to watch some of my content. Hopefully it's something that you like and you enjoy. If it's not, drop a comment, let me know what it is that you do enjoy. I might be able to accommodate you. Unless you want me to get my bobby out, I don't do that type of video. <laughs> Today's topic is going to be five things I do not like about my ZZR 1400 Gen 1 2008. And if you want like this video, go back and look at the five things I do like about the bike. And this is just a reply video to my own video telling you the five things I don't like about it. Everyone's like, Zed, you don't like things about your bike? Ah, oh, some wee things, so we will get to them. The first thing I don't like about my ZZR 1400 is the speed. This bike is a license killer. Yep, you have to be very, very careful and very aware of what you're doing when you're riding this bike because if you get carried away with yourself, it only takes a split second and you are doing jail term speeds. And that's not an exaggeration. You are doing jail term speeds. You have to be very, very careful. And the fact that the bike is shaped the way that it is, and it handles the way that it is, the speed that you're doing gives you the sensation that you're doing half the speed that you actually are, which isn't a good thing when you're doing 100 miles an hour, um, officer. So yeah, the first thing I would say is the speed. It takes a lot of getting used to. It requires respect, and that is uh, for sure. The second thing that I don't like about this bike is the people it attracts. I'm not talking about fellow bikers here, because fellow bikers will appreciate this bike and I love them coming round and I love them looking at the bike and we talk about it and you can feel the excitement and the the ad admiration and the adulation in their voices when they, they see this bike I'm talking about cagers I'm talking about little uh, Billy Baldy Balls with his Ford Polo GT RS turbo that's sitting at a traffic light trying to rev up to get you to race them your bike costs more than their car it does not to 16 2.6 seconds has a top speed of 186 miles an hour so we man fucking jog on so yeah, the people that are attracts when you're out driving that think they've got a wee chance. <laughs> Number three, and this one might be surprising to some. I don't like the fuel tank range. I feel as if it could be slightly bigger. I would class this bike as a sports tourer. Checking that the camera's still on, I'll tell you a story about that later. I was doing a uh, yeah, tank range <clears throat> is a big thing. Oh, lost! Had a total brain fart there. <laughs> yeah, a tank range. So 
going to sit back a wee bit. If you look at the tank down there, there's a cover over the front portion of it. That's, that is just what it is, the cover. There isn't actually any tank underneath it. The tank sits more down under the, the seat. But it doesn't have that big a, a fuel range. And I wish it did. I wish it uh, had a slightly, slightly bigger fuel range than it does. But that's just me. That's just a, my one and only sort of niggle, I would say. Number four for me would most definitely be the pressure that this bike puts on my license. It puts a considerable amount of pressure on my license. <laughs> considerable amount of pressure. It is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like I say, it's like you could put the most uh, well-rounded person onto this bike and they'll say, I'll, I will never do those speeds and I will never uh, break the law. <laughs> Rubbish. Rubbish. I you will. I you will. I you'll do them. Don't you kid yourself, pal. You will do the speeds. It's picking and choosing when to do them that's uh, the thing. So yeah, that's one of the things I don't like about the bike is the pressure it puts on my license. So last, but by no means least, is the fact that I feel, now this is my opinion, and my opinion alone, that I will never own a better bike. Now what I mean by that is I will not own a better all-round bike. Look at that for a bit of scenery. Oh, I'm giving you it the day, guys. Eh? Ooh. I will never own a better all-round bike. This bike is stunning. It can keep up with the big boys when you're out in a run. But then, if you're just having a leisurely stroll, it's more than, uh, more than capable of that as well, which uh, makes, it, makes it a great uh, tool for me, because that's what the bike is, the bike is a tool. So that's my uh, top five things that I do not like about my ZZR. You can agree with them, you can disagree with them, you can come up with five of your own. Drop a comment, tell me the five things you don't like about your bike. Might be that maintenance costs are too high or whatever, it's just, it is what it is, it's different to every individual. You let me know in the comments what uh, you think about your bike. So thanks very much for watching guys, I'm just going to slow down because of that bad boy. <laughs> tiptoe by <laughs> so if you liked the video click like if you fancy having a wee chat drop a comment and if you like what you watched why not give me a wee subscribe and hit that bell notification and every time I drop a video onto YouTube's Mr. Google will message you to say Z head has dropped a video. So that's it from me guys. Take care. Stay safe. Peace out. Bye bye. Show no fear, show no fear.